I can't believe you. I don't even know who you are anymore. Cody? What's wrong? You think I wouldn't find out? How stupid do you think I am? Cody, please, tell me what's going on. I have no idea. Sure you don't. God, I can't believe I thought I could trust you. I want you out of my life. Stop. Just talk to me. I haven't done anything. I'm at home working on some projects. Oh, sure you are. I've seen the kind of projects you work on. Goodbye, Tina. I hope you make a lot of money. What? Stop playing dumb, Tina. I've seen the videos. What videos? I don't know. Maybe ask Juan or Mikey or Dan to show you. Who? Cody! Please! Tina, you gotta help me out. Always! That's what twin sisters are for! You okay? No. Cody broke up with me and I have no idea why. I'm so sorry! You and Cody always seem so happy together. We were happy. I honestly have no idea what happened. Do you think you offended him in some way? He didn't seem offended. He seemed disgusted, horrified. He said something about videos. Did you post something bad on TikTok? Of course not. You know I don't do any social media anymore. Not since all those creepers started messaging me about taking off my clothes. Right. Tina, do you know anyone named Juan, Mikey, or Dan? Tina? I have no idea. But don't worry, I'm sure you'll figure out what's happening soon enough. Sometimes the answers are right in front of your face. I hope so. Do you want me to talk to Cody? Maybe I can get him to tell me what's going on. Do you think that would help? Not really. Let's give it some time. He might just need to cool off before he can think rationally. It's probably best if you just don't mention this to anyone. Okay. And Trish, don't let this get you down, okay? You're a good person. You didn't do anything wrong. Thank you. And don't get depressed. You don't want mom to know about any of this either. Why? Maybe she has some advice. No, don't tell her anything. And try not to look sad around her. You know how she notices everything. Okay, I won't. And always remember, I got your back. Hello, uh, this is Marnie, Trisha's mom. Yeah, I know. Is something wrong? Trisha's been wandering around the house like a zombie. She won't eat anything and she can't stop crying. I know something happened with her, but she won't tell me what. I want to help. Is everything okay? You have no idea what your daughter is really like. Oh my. Is she in trouble? Did she do something? I don't want to say it's too embarrassing, but I'll send you a link. You can see for yourself. Thank you. And no offense, but please don't message me again. Your daughter is cut out of my life. Jesus, Trish, what have you done? Nothing, Mom. I'm at the park like I told you. I was just going for a walk to clear my head. I just talked with your ex-boyfriend and he sent me your little website. Why, Trish? What if everyone finds out? What would they think about our family? What would your college think? What website? Don't play dumb. I'm looking at it right now. You didn't even bother to hide your face. Do you have any respect for yourself? Please, no one is telling me anything. What is the website and what am I doing on it? There are videos of you with other men. The things you're doing. Jesus, Trish. People can see everything. Dirty videos? Filthy. Mom, that's not me. It sure the hell looks like you. Oh my god, it's Tina. But she's my sister, she wouldn't do that. But it has to be her. Mom, Tina is pretending to be me. That's her in those videos, it has to be. I don't think so. She's just using my name. It's more than a name. The videos are filmed in your room. I recognize the posters. And I can tell my daughters apart. This is you, same hair, same freckle on your face. Mom, you need to send me the link. Just go to some website called OnlyFans and write your first and middle name. Oh God, thank you. We're not done here. Before you say anything else, let me try to figure this out, okay? Fine, but you're still in big trouble, do you understand? Trish? Tina, we need to talk, now. Hi, sis. I guess you figured it out. <laughs> Why don't you tell me what you think you know and I'll confirm or deny. You're a cam girl for money. You do very explicit things online, including stuff with random men. 
True or false? No comment. Keep going. You're using my name. Continue. You film in my room when mom and I aren't home. Wow, that sounds devious. And you dress like me. I'm guessing with a wig and a fake freckle drawn with marker or something. Oh, Trish, that sounds absolutely horrible. If that were true. So you're denying it? No, I'm just listening to your story with sisterly compassion. Oh my god, it's true, but you're not admitting it on text because you don't want me to have evidence against you. If your wild story were true, of course I wouldn't send a text message confession. I'm not stupid. But it's not true because you make those videos and all the evidence points right to you. You're a monster. Seriously, Trish, you really should stop posting that stuff. It's ruining your reputation. Is it worth it, Tina? Ruining your sister's life for a couple bucks? Oh, it's more than a couple bucks. I'm assuming, of course. I'm assuming you're making thousands each month. Thousands? I'm so sorry you got caught. I'm guessing Cody dumped you by now? Yes, and mom's furious. Mom knows? Was that not part of your plan? Don't worry, she doesn't suspect you. Yet. But she will. You can deny this all you want, but eventually you're going to slip up. And then everyone will know the truth. This is your mother. Call me. Mom, you still haven't taken down your channel. I know, it's still up. And it's not my channel. I'm sorry, but if you don't take down this channel within the next week, I'm going to have to withdraw your tuition. You're not going to pay for my college? Not if you keep leading this lifestyle. No, you can't. You've left me no choice. And you'll still pay for Tina's. Tina hasn't disappointed me with her actions. Take down those videos by the end of the week or you'll have to take out student loans for your last two years. Mom, please. Cody, hi. Cody, look, I know you're ignoring me, but you haven't blocked my number yet, so I take that as a good sign. You don't have to respond to me right now, but I really need you to think very carefully about everything you know about me. Think about how long we've known each other, even before we started dating. Think about how happy we were. And think about how annoyed you always got whenever I overshared stuff in my life. Think about all the times I vented with you about every little issue and drama and problem. Think about that. I tell you everything, too much, you always say. Do you really think that I'd keep a secret like this from you? Do you think that the Trish you know would have this whole hidden life? Does that make any sense? Now, think about everything you know about my twin sister. Think about how selfish she's always been. Think about all the times she's gotten in trouble. Think about how she always seems to have money to pay for things even though she never goes to work. Doesn't it make more sense that she's the one making those videos? Cody, I'm here. Do you believe me now? I still don't know. But you're considering it. I saw the videos, Trish. They really do look like you. Yeah, because she's my identical twin. We've been dating for almost two years now. I know you can tell the difference between me and Tina. Just watch one of them again with open eyes. Please. You're right, that's not you. I am so sorry. So you can tell? Yeah, I can. Thank you! I never should have doubted you. I know, but I also know how you can make it up to me. How? Well, Tina still isn't backing down. She hasn't admitted anything, and the videos are still there for everyone to see. And if she doesn't take them down, my mom is going to stop paying for my school. I need to expose her somehow, and I need your help. Okay, it's the least I can do. Great, so I have a plan. Whatever you need me to do. But remember, I'm terrible with tech stuff. I know, but you're pre-med. Do you have access to the lab? I need some supplies. I don't know. I could get in big trouble with the school. Fine, I'll try something else. No, it's okay. Meet me at my apartment and we can talk about it. Be there in ten. sis i have some terrible news what your subscriber numbers are down <laughs> no that can't be it looks like you're making more money than ever that's not it i accidentally hurt myself what <laughs> do you see my new cast 
I may have broken my arm in two places. Stupid me, I fell off the porch. Oh, that's it? You don't want to ask me how I'm feeling? How are you feeling? I'm okay, it doesn't really hurt. But, obviously, I can't keep making videos with this cast. So I guess I'll have to stop posting for a while. No, no, you can't do that. I mean, you wouldn't do that. You make so much money. And you promised your subscribers another video by Friday. I guess I did. What a shame. I'm going to have a lot of angry customers. Tina, are you still there? Hi, Cody. How are you holding up? Tina, hi. I'm not okay. I still feel really betrayed. And I'm lonely. I miss your sister, but I know that I'll never take her back. I understand. Did you hear about her arm? Yeah, it's totally broken. Do you know how long she'll be in that cast? With something that serious, at least four months. Poor thing. I guess. Seems more like karma striking back, if you ask me. Don't say that. I know my sister has made mistakes, but we shouldn't be angry with her. In fact, I want to help. Do you know where she got the cast? At the university hospital, of course. Why? Because I want to help with her recovery. Help her pay for stuff. And since you're pre-med, maybe you can help. Where exactly could someone get a cast exactly like hers? But she already has a cast, and her doctor fitted on perfectly. But you know how those things are. You get it wet once, and you have to have it replaced. I'd like to help with that. Do you know where I can find a cast exactly like hers? You can't. I'm sure the drama department has some fake ones, but they never look real. The only way someone gets a cast is if they go to the hospital. Oh, I see. So there's really nothing you can do. Maybe send her some chicken soup or something. Yeah, maybe. So I just heard from Tina. Is she freaking out about my new cast? Yeah. And she was asking where she could find one that looked exactly the same as yours. And she was not subtle about it. God, I can't believe I trusted her over you. I'm such an idiot. Yeah, you are. But I forgive you. So what did you tell her? I told her that there was no way she'd find a cast exactly like yours. Great. So do you think this will work? Do you think she'll stop posting now? She has to. I think this whole nightmare is finally over. Thank you so much for letting me use the medical lab. It's the least I could do. So are you still coming over later? Of course, I can't let her see me walking around at home without a broken arm. <laughs> so you'll be staying with me for at least a week? At least. And it'll be nice to get out of the house. Mom still doesn't believe me, so she treats me like crap. And I can't stand being in the same room as Tina, so I can't wait to finally be away from all that. I can't wait either. See you soon. Trish, you won't believe where I am right now. I'm not talking to you. Don't message me. No, I think you might want to hear this. Just guess where I am. Hell. I'm at the hospital. You won't believe it. You know how twins like us have a weird cosmic link? I used to think that, before you betrayed me. Well, I had a little accident on my bike. And guess what? I broke the exact same arm you did. Crazy, right? And now it looks like we both have a cast. What? You seriously broke your arm on purpose? So we would still be identical and you could still make your videos? Jesus, Tina, that's insane. I thought that my cast would stop you from posting. I had no idea that you'd do this to yourself. I have no idea what you're talking about. It was an accident, that's all. It's just weird that I had the exact same accident as you. So I guess we still look identical and you'll still make your videos with a cast. Tina, I didn't expect you to do this to yourself. Please, I'm asking you as your sister, stop all this. Don't you think you've gone too far? You're obsessed with your channel, it's not healthy. It's not my channel, Trish, it's yours. And you'll be posting new content for a long, long time. Wow. Um, new development. What happened? I just heard from Tina. She broke her own arm so she'd have a cast. What? That's insane. I know. I thought she'd just stop posting. I didn't think she'd do this. Well, I hate to say this, but it serves her right. Once she posts her next video with a cast on, everyone will know it's her and not you. 
But she maimed herself, Cody. I feel terrible. Don't. Just think about what trouble she caused in your life. She's never felt guilty about screwing you over, so don't feel guilty about this. I can't help it. She's still my sister. Trish, I love you because you're a good person. You're the nice sister. But sometimes bad things happen to bad people. Tina deserves what she gets. So please, don't feel guilty. If anything, you should enjoy the moment. Your plan has worked out better than either of us ever imagined. I guess you're right, but I still want to give her one last chance. Why? Because I'm the nice sister. Tina, please hear me out. I'm asking you as your sister, the person who knows you better than anyone, please take down your site and stop posting. I know you'll be losing a lot of money, but you have to. Mom said she'd stop paying for my college if the videos are still up. Do you realize how difficult my life would be if that happens? I know you just broke your arm to keep this going, but I'm giving you one more chance to show some kindness and do the right thing. What do you say? Tina, okay, I guess I have your answer. Do what you have to do. Well, I saw the new video. I guess I couldn't convince you to stop. You do know that mom is going to take away my tuition now. What a shame, but you left her no choice. Right. I'm sorry it has to be like this, but your videos make a lot of money. How's your arm? Itchy and throbbing, but it's a small price to pay. How's yours? Completely fine. No pain at all. Really? Yeah, because I don't have a cast. What? I faked that photo from before. Cody helped me. My arm is completely fine. What? I'd like you to take a moment and realize what you've done to yourself. You were so addicted to your channel that you intentionally mangled yourself. And now you posted a new video of me wearing a cast. As soon as people see the video, they'll know it's not me. And as soon as mom finds out what you did, I think she'll take away more than just your tuition. What you did was wrong. And what you did to me was basically illegal. I'm not going to press charges though, but I am going to cut you out of my life. No, 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 no. I gave you plenty of chances. I'm sorry it had to end this way. Wait. Goodbye, Tina. It was nice having you as a sister. Honey, I am so sorry. Your sister confessed everything. Trish, I'm here. I want to apologize. I can't understand how Tina could do this to you. Me neither. And I can't understand how you believed her. I wasn't the only one she tricked. But you're our mother. You should be able to tell us apart. And you should have listened to me when I tried to explain. She brought strangers into our house and used my room to make videos. How could you not have suspected something? How could you have turned against me so quickly? I know. If it makes you feel any better, I've kicked her out and withdrawn all financial support. And I stood over her shoulder as she deleted her account. Yeah, that makes me feel better. Come back home. Maybe later. We still have a lot to work through. So I never pressed charges against Tina, although Cody tried to convince me to. In the weeks that followed, I found out that Tina had flunked out of school a full semester ago. She'd been lying to all of us, and she'd used her channel as her main source of income. I think she thought she'd found a career. The last I'd heard, she was living with some guy and still hadn't figured out what she was going to do with her life. Mom and I don't return her calls right now, so I'm not sure where she is or what she's doing. I officially moved in with Cody last month. It had taken me a while to forgive Mom, and I think I finally do. But I figured it was better if I got out of the house. The sense of betrayal is still there, and it's something I'll be dealing with for a long time. Mom is constantly trying to make things up to me by giving me presents and depositing money into my account. I think it's taking longer for her to forgive herself for not believing me. But Cody and I are better than ever. We even started a YouTube channel together. Nothing explicit, of course, just us vlogging about our lives. We're even making a little money from it. Who knew, right? Honestly, I don't know if I'll ever see Tina again. Maybe, but for now, I'm happier than ever and I hope she can get her life back on track.